Hello, YouTube. Meet Jack, the cat on the box who refuses to leave the recording area, even though I've kicked him out several times. And hi. We're all new here. You, me, the channel, the cat. I'm the hyper-focused hobbyist. We're going to be unboxing some diamond paintings today as my first video. Yay! Uh, don't lie, I am a little bit nervous, but it should be okay. Everything should be okay. Uh, hopefully my mic is close enough and can actually pick up what I'm saying. I hope I'm not messing this up somehow. Um, that being said, let's move the cat, shall we? Move, Bubba. Here, you can sit next to me on the couch. Okay, so let's open up this box. I have been waiting for this box for a good week now. It was supposed to arrive last week, Friday, but then DHL was just like, that's not our proposed date of delivery. We're not going to deliver it. Our proposed date was Monday, so she'll get it on Monday. I was very upset. I thought I would have this box by like Friday. Woo! <sighs> Diamond paintings. I won't lie to you. It's been a good year since my last shipment of diamond paintings. And here comes the cat. I think Jack might love my shipments of diamond paintings more than I do. He loves a good box. And Diamond Art Club, who is the company I bought these diamond paintings from, they give good box. They, they truly do give good box. So I have one, two, Three, four, I guess I'm just going to stack them up behind this box so that way when I'm, the box is empty, I can just uh, lay them out. Uh, five, trying not to give away the surprise of what is which, six. Six kits, and there are actually one more coming. And I'm doing this just by looking at my my monitor, so that's why I seem to be just rooting around. Whoop. Sorry about that. My cat's insane. He always has been. I don't know why I'm surprised. So, like I said, I have six fire paintings here. And already you can kind of see what two of them are based on the color on the side of the box. Uh, but yeah, six gorgeous, huge boxes all here. And I'm really excited to get into these. So let's get into them. The first box we're going to get into today is this one. And as you can see on the side, it is a blue stripe right here. And this blue stripe means that it is a square piece. It is a square. You could tell by this blue uh, stripe on the side of the box. And this one is sudden. Sudden by Ennis Guerra. I know I'm saying that right. Sorry, not in a square enough. And a morte. What am I thinking? So this is Sudden by Anna Morte. I think it's glorious and beautiful. Um, and we're going to open this up once I can find my blade. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Hey. Whew. It's been a while since I've opened a new one. I am so excited for this. Ooh. Here's the toolkit. Here is the canvas. And here is my little sticker. So Diamond Art Club includes these little stickers. And can you focus, please? Focus. 
Diamond Art Club includes those stickers in their packages. Um, forgive my nails. And what I like to do is I like to stick the sticker right on the top here. Um, because I currently store my kits standing upright on the floor and so that I can see which one I'm pulling so that I can see um, what shape I'm pulling, what shape I'm putting it with. Cause I put my squares with my squares and my rounds with my rounds. I put it right on top, just like that. And it helps me just to know what I'm pulling next. I'll put this box over here. Let's go with the toolkit. Can you believe I used to actually open these by tearing this little notch here? That's just horrible. Because you could just, but I don't, it's like that. Done. Uh, so in here, because this is, is a square kit, we have some Diamond Art Club tweezers. We have, ooh, a pink pen. I'm not too fond of the pink. I wouldn't lie to you. Oh, it's supposed to be a red pen, I guess, because it has a red squishy, and usually the colors are meant to match. A rose. I like the rose. This red washi tape, which I think is awfully nice. It's not focusing on the washi tape, is it? No, it's not. And, whoops. <gasps> no! No! <laughs> Please find it because Jack loves this stuff. Okay. <laughs> Two wax hearts in a heart container. I have so many of these, it's kind of ridiculous. Two multi placers, a seven and a three, four, sorry. I tend not to use these, and I'll tell you why in a minute. And a boat. I'm actually surprised I got this boat and not a different boat. And some baggies, which I also do not use. And a stopper for the boat. So that's nice right there. Although I also don't tend to use stoppers either, to be honest with you. I just shake in my hand like this. That's why I like the size of these boats though. So that is the toolkit. Now, do I use this toolkit? No, I have quite an ensemble of, um, I have quite an ensemble of, what do you call it? Tools, I have an ensemble of tools. I have lots of wax. I have almost too much wax to be honest. Thanks Jack again. Um, I have almost too much wax. I have quite a bit of wax. I have my own custom dime printing pens. I don't use these really because my local Daiso has better baggies than this. Um, so I tend to use the ones from there to store my diamonds in. Um, what I do with these is and if I gift one of my old like AliExpress cheapies, um, I'll also gift a whole bunch of baggies to that person in case they want to keep their drills or if that's where they want to store their drills. I tend to also keep the pens, but with their specific squishies. Um, I don't know why, because I don't, like I said, I don't use them for anything, which is just strange of me, I guess, but it's, it's what I'm doing. Um, I do keep the washi tape. I am obsessed with washi tape. I have so much of it. It's kind of ridiculous. I need to buy a new tin to keep my Diamond Art Club washi tape in. And my cover minders, I don't really use a lot of my cover minders. They tend to just decorate my house at this point. Decorating my desk, anyway, at this point. And Jack likes to knock them off every so often. Tweezers? Yeah, I use my tweezers. I use my tweezers for a lot of things, not just diamond painting. I won't lie to you. But this toolkit will probably get broken down and put away 
um, into the storage solutions that I have for it, for all my extra stuff uh, later. Just not right now. Enter that, put that away. So oh. this is what we came for. This right here is what we're here for. We are here for uh, the canvas. The canvas, let me see. I'm excited for this one. I originally bought this one as a gift for a friend. And she knows who she is. Uh, she'll probably watch this later when she gets a chance, if she wants to. But uh, knowing how we absolutely, uh, what's the word, support each other <laughs> as a hobby group. Uh, I know she's going to watch this, even if it's just to say, girl, fix your tripod or fix your issues. Um, so we have our sticker chart with all our colors. Lots of dark colors. I know that's going to happen. We have our drills, which I can already tell is just beautiful. And we have our canvas. I'm going to open it up like this. I just lay it out. I'm surprised it fit on the table, to be honest with you. Good good job, Ikea. This is just my, my uh, coffee table. I bought it because I tend to put a lot of things on top and not move them. And I needed space because I'm a hoarder. Um, I don't worry about this. Uh, lots of other YouTubers who unbox Diamond Art Club stuff will tell you exactly what this is for. I don't worry about it too much. Um, because I don't. I don't, I don't need to care too much about it. Here is what I love Diamond Art Club for. This is the reason I started using Diamond Art Club. Because of all of the reviews about these sticker sheets. So the stickers are all individually cut. I don't know or think you can actually see that, but they're individually cut. So it makes it really easy to kit up my paintings when I'm ready to kit up a new one, because I could just put the stickers right onto the containers I hold my drills in. Um, these stickers, I don't really do anything with, I won't lie to you. I don't keep a journal. I don't keep a journal. Oh, I didn't know. Is this one also? No, this one's not cut. Um, it's just because of the size of the, the small ones. I don't keep a diamond pink journal. I don't. I don't keep a digital one. I don't keep a physical one. I did start to, and then with my ADHD brain, I completely forgot I even had one. I just don't keep it. But I do like the stickers. If I really like the stickers, I'll like cut them out and put them somewhere. No! Oh, Christ. Gotta put this back. I'm not gonna be doing this one right now. <laughs> so I don't want to have to force myself to kit this one up just because I messed up the stickers. Okay. Um, we have 37 colors here on this, what is that? That's new to me. Like I said, I have not ordered for Diamond Art Club in a little over a year. Please excuse Jack. He's finding now to be his zoomy zoomy play time. Um, there's a code here that I don't recognize. And that's probably from uh, Diamond Art Club's new drills. Their uh, fairy dust drills and their... Um, I don't even know what they're called, to be honest with you. I'm going to search it up on my phone. I'm pretty sure I have a picture in my phone about it. Iridescent. That's what I wanted to say. So I think, if I'm correct, the Z ones, hopefully I can zoom in far enough for you to see that. The Z ones are um, the fairy dust drills. I think the L ones are the iridescent drills, but I'm just not sure. I'm going to have to really figure that out. Um, but, you know, Diamond Art Club has never let me down as far as their drills have gone. I will never 
be unhappy. <laughs> Diamond Art Club and I just, we, we click, we match. They make me super, super happy. I love how things look with these. So I don't really need to know, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so before I get into the drills, let's get into the canvas. Everett part. Oh, oh, she's pretty. She's dark, but she's pretty. Like, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty all done up. Oh, I'm getting too excited. I'm getting super excited. She's so pretty. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. So roll it backwards. Already it was pretty flat, but now I feel like it's a little bit flatter. It's no longer poking up on the edge. I'm actually going to change camera angles here. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Um, so instead of changing camera angle, I changed the camera and the table. Um, I'm hoping that this will work. I actually have to pull the mic a little bit closer here. Um, so I'm hoping this will work a little bit better. Uh, please be very uh, nice to me. This is my first time recording uh, and doing a video like this. Um, so, yeah, she's gorgeous. Like I said, I changed literally nothing except for how the table's looking. So I'm going to zoom in and just take a look at all of those drills. That's a lot of dark, but it's so pretty. I cannot see myself not loving this. I might get tired of it while doing it because that's how my brain works. It just needs a change every so often, whether it be a change in project or a change in colors. Um, but yeah, I, I, I absolutely love this. I'm gonna zoom back out now. Please forgive everything in the background. I've got Jack's toys. I've got the new, the, the old box that everything came in, which is, I, I guess, a new toy for Jack, to be honest with you. And I'm gonna go ahead and get into these drills. Oh, I, I just know I'm gonna love these though. I just know I am. Let me adjust. So, if you don't like crinkling, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry, but there's no way around it. I'm going to fold this down and close it so Jack's hair doesn't get it absolutely ready. What is that? What is that? It looks like... Focus, will you? Huh. That's strange. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, this is like a speck of dust. So, I'm going to open these up. We've got one, two, three strands. So, oh, so, that was a very small one. I'm going to start with the biggest bags. Because if you didn't know, now you know. Diamond Art Club does their uh, drills by weight, not by DMC code, which is the color code. So this one is 3371. Can you focus? Thank you. 3371. We've got two, three, four, four bags of that. And that is a, actually, I can't really see the colors on this. Yeah, I'm going to have to change up the lighting a little bit, I think. Okay, I changed to a white light, so hopefully that'll help. 
these are like a dark brown color. I like them. I don't know if my camera likes them. If I need a new camera, please let me know. But even if you did, nothing would really change. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so these are like a dark brown kind of color. Then we got 414, which is showing up. Well, it is gray, technically. 310. Oh, my old friend, 310. If you are a Mandy Manzano fan like I am, these are your best friends. 310, one bag, two bags, three bags, four bags, five bags, six bags, seven bags, seven bags of 310. Yeah, that's what I thought, to be honest. I'm not surprised. That's okay, though. Because I just know it's going to lead to a very beautiful dark painting. Please forgive Jack and all of his noise. 3740, that's pretty. 317, also quite pretty. 550, this used to be my favorite color. It's not anymore. I don't even know if I have a favorite color anymore. Because it's just so nice. 154. I actually love this color. I won't lie to you. I do absolutely love this color. I think it's great. Can you please? That's, that's weird. Another bag of 154. That's nice. I like that color. 779. 939, another color I really love, but I recently made a very big mistake of my 939s on my uh, Hogwarts crest diamond painting. I mixed it with another color and I can barely tell them apart. And 451, so that's strand one. Strand two. We've got 823, yes, I think 939 and 823 are the two colors that I mixed up on my Hogwarts crest. I could be a little bit wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. 3861. 413. I'm surprised I haven't run into any ABs or any special drills yet. 318. 159, 838, 553, 453, 552, 168, 38, 37, 315, 209, 37, 26. Wait a second, let me go back to this one. I actually really do like this color. It's not my favorite, but I do like it a lot. 37, 26. 762. Okay. This last strand, this last strand has got to be it. Ah, uh, yep, this last strand is definitely it because I already see a couple. Uh, let's get them lined up here. Ooh, Z3042. Now these must be, if I am correct, these must be the fit. Sorry about that. My cat's going insane. These must be the fairy dust ones. Oh, I'm so sad you can't really see it on the camera. That's so nice. It's like a hint of glitter to them at the very top. I really like that. That's pretty. I'm so sad I can't see that effect on the camera because that's super pretty. 3860. 327, 3041, 169, 139. There's that. AB. Now, AB, you can see on any camera. Look. It's like a hollow effect on top of the drills. And I love it. Makes it extra directly. And then L3740. If these aren't the iridescent ones, I think they're crystal ones. These are 
dark and sparkly. Wow. I like that. That's nice. That's nice. Yay! So those are the drills. Now I wonder where the special ones go. Let me see. Where's my thing? So here's a better close up of that sticker sheet from before. So yeah, I only have one AB, one of the fairy, and then one of the crystal. I'm pretty sure L is for crystals. So we could tell that the AB is number one. Let's see if we could find maybe these. Never be able to get those back in. Let's see if we could find number one on the painting. Let's see, where do I see ones? I see twos. I see... Sorry, I'm just moving you guys around here. I should move the canvas instead. I see... Hmm. There! So here's a couple of ones here. It seems to be highlighting the flowers. Yeah, they seem to be highlighting the flowers along with... Zoom in a little bit more there. Along with those fairy dust drills. That's this N symbol that you see here. Like a very thin um, italicized N. The more I zoom in, the, let, the worse it gets, to be honest. So here's a one, these ends. And where is that pin, that dark purple pin? Because that is where our crystal drills will go. Let's see, can we find the purple pin? Hmm. I'm not seeing it. By now I would have found something. Ah, I found one. They're in her eyes. They're in her eyes. And anywhere else, they should be some more places. But no, that's all I'm seeing, the ones in her eyes. Why only the eyes? Why can't I find any more? Well, this is a pretty dark painting. So I'm probably just losing that dark purple in between all of the other dark purples. Oh, I found more ones and more ends. But I'm not finding any more of those iridescent drills. Was that say iridescent or was it crystal? Let's see. Yeah, nope, not finding any more of those. I'm looking in all the purple areas too. I can't find any more. That's very, very interesting. But I'm sure there are more. I just can't seem to find them. Okay. Well. Shame on me for not being able to find them. But yeah, that would be my first unboxing video. Yay!